Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So this morning I woke up for uh, to find portier that was uh, dropped into my Kindle. So I've started reading the book and probably will uh, come up with uh, great ideas for questions when I go. Uh, deeper into it. Right now he's still describing the courtier's job and everything that is uh, included in that. He started talking Tommy, talking about Tommy Laskell that used to be uh, uh, the Prince of Wales's uh, um, private secretary and that means David which later became Edward VIII and then he was uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, private secretary so um, uh, this is the beginning of the book so I've just started reading it so I'm so I'm sure I will have more questions about it later on uh, but this reading is about another book Harry's book and all sorts of tidbits of gossip that uh, came my way in the past few weeks. And uh, the first one is about uh, the question. The question was whether uh, Harry's book is going to come out uh, while Meghan and Harry are in London for the GQ Awards, and if that is the real reason why they are coming back to the UK. And this is uh, supposed to be a secret, uh, and uh, this is what I'm going to, this is going to be my first question. This is Ask the Witch Tarot deck, and uh, it is a very, um, quirky, let's say, uh, kind of deck, but it's nice, and uh, I do have the book near me in case I need it, and let's start with the first question. So the first question is going to be around uh, whether or not uh, Harry and Meghan are coming to back to the UK for the release of the book. The second question is going to be on whether uh, Harry is actually uh, being pressured by the charity that he promised revenue from the book, uh, Santa Ballet, and uh, this is a reason why this book cannot be delayed, because he needs the money, and uh, he promised, I believe, 10% of the revenue to go to the charity. Uh, and uh, the third question is whether this book will be uh, William's, uh, not Sir William, I'm sorry, Charles, King Charles's, uh, uh, let's say, excuse to decide that Harry cannot come to the UK anymore, whether he, he will be uh, proclaimed as banned from coming back to the UK after uh, the book comes out. So, um, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So, please do your own research and decide for yourself. So, let's ask the witch. Are Meghan and Harry coming to the UK for the release of Harry's book in November? Is it because of that? So this is the first card, and this is the second card, and this will be the third card. Okay, so first card is the answer, and the answer is judgment. Now. As a court card, this is not a clear yes or no answer. This is, a, we need to look at the interpretation of the, the card to see uh, what is the meaning of this. And judgment is about a change, a very major change. This is a change that uh, takes time. This is a process of, let's say, a birth of something. So. Because we're talking about a book that takes time to uh, be written, takes time to go over to that, this is like a birth. And uh, I don't know, I know that many uh, poets and uh, authors uh, uh, 
referred to the process of getting a book uh, out and written and uh, edited and everything as a, a very long birthing uh, experience, a, a very long a pregnancy that ends up with a painful uh, birth. Uh, one of our uh, very, uh, it's, he's called the national uh, poet, uh, his name was Bialik, uh, he wrote a whole poem about uh, the, the difficulty of uh, getting your poem out and how, um, how hurtful and how painful this process is. And it is, uh, I know this poem very well because it is one of the poems that uh, my children had to study for their uh, matriculation test. And as I told you, I was studying with them and I will study with my uh, youngest as well. So... um, so this is uh, so this is why I believe that this is a yes answer, because judgment is many times uh, can be seen as the butterfly that is coming out of the cocoon and it takes time. It's very painful. He has to bang with his uh, wings on uh, the cocoon's walls in order to strengthen his wings. So it's not it's not a process that can be taken lightly. It's not a process that you can take any kind of shortcuts in because if you do then uh, if the if the butterfly is taken out of the cocoon uh, without being ready then he is he, he will he's as good as dead because he won't be able to fly and here we see the uh, the witch uh, 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 on the air in the air on her broom with this basket that actually seems like a baby in it. So this is very much the same uh, meaning of the card, a a birth. uh, And this is like a birth of a child. It is a birth of a book. So I believe that this is a yes answer to that question, uh, that they are actually meaning to be in London when the book comes, when the book comes out. And the GQ awards is just a good excuse. Uh, on this side, what we see is the Ten of Cups. And as you can see, uh, the witch here is going towards the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a card of wishes coming true. This is also a cup of the, a card of a happy family. But as you can see, all of the images are uh, of very small people. Uh, but this is about getting their wishes come true. This is about happiness, abundance. So they believe that by, uh, this, by the, uh, getting this book done, uh, they can just, you know, uh, kill two birds with one uh, shot, uh, uh, both getting the GQ award for Megan, uh, another uh, wishes come true uh, moment for her, and uh, getting that book out. And uh, this is all about getting the wishes and getting that uh, abundance that they are looking for. And they do believe that uh, getting that book out is uh, their way of uh, getting that abundance and on the other side we get the world card and the world card is a card that speaks about endings and beginnings this is about ending one cycle and starting a new one but as you can see this person here is looking towards the witch here but she is turning her back to that card because this card is a card of um, of perfection. This is a card of doing things in a wrong way, but it's also a warning card, and it is warning them not to uh, uh, rest on their laurels, not to get bored very easily, and not to risk a burnout. And this is exactly what they are risking by coming to uh, to the UK for uh, one thing, and then having that book uh, released as a surprise, something like that, without uh, probably the royal family knowing about it. So uh, this is a warning card for them, and they don't want to see that warning. They don't. They are going towards those ten of cups and that uh, promise of abundance and happiness, and they believe that they will get it. So this is the first question. And the second question, as I said, 
was uh, whether uh, when the the book has to come out because of uh, Harry's uh, promise to his charity, the Santa Valle, uh, to, uh, that they will get uh, revenue from this, uh, uh, for, uh, or percentage from the revenue of this book, and is he being pressured to give money to that to their to his charity, and uh, is this a reason why this book cannot be stopped? Now, as a uh, uh, the the uh, one thing that I had to that I had seen yesterday was around uh, people said I don't remember who was it that said it on his YouTube channel but that uh, you cannot uh, rewrite a book in two weeks but there is talk that. Uh, uh, Harry wants a two-week extension uh, to enter um, uh, another chapter that includes what happened after the Queen died. And in my reading about the same question, uh, I got a yes answer, and I will link it uh, in... I mean, I will link the playlist of the Harry's books uh, videos in the... Uh, in the end of this video, but anyway, uh, so um, there is no question that this book uh, is cannot be stopped, and the question is whether uh, Santa Valley or Harry's commitment to give money to his charity is a reason why this book cannot be stopped, at least not from Harry's side. Okay, so this is going to be the first card. And this is going to be the second card, and the third card will come from here. Okay, so let's see what does the answer tell us. Tell us. And the answer is here, and we get the Queen of Swords. So first of all, the Queen of Swords is a court card, and it is a yes answer. And the Queen of Swords is the queen that wants to be seen as someone who has social responsibility. So this goes very well with giving money to charity. This is one of the reasons that Harry needs that book is to be able to uh, enforce the image of the Queen of Swords, the image that he wants to build uh, to himself and to his wife and to their uh, Archwell Foundation, that they care about social things. They care about charity. They are activists. They care about climate change. So this is part of the reason uh, why this is a yes answer. So this is a yes answer from both sides. First, because it is a, the Queen of Swords, and secondly, because this queen, especially this queen, is a queen that wants, uh, that is uh, very much a queen that cares about uh, charity and social responsibility, and this is part of the image that Harry is trying to cultivate. Uh, both of them are trying to cultivate. And on this side, the queen is looking at the Two of Swords reversed and the two of swords that's the card of being unable to see reality as it is and being unable to cope with reality and because of that making the wrong choice making the wrong decision so his need to be the queen of swords, to be the one who is a, has social responsibility and cares about charity, causes him to overlook the fact that he's completely disengaged from reality and he is, because of that, going to make a big mistake. So the, the fact that the book is coming out is a big mistake. And this is not going to lead them to the Ten of Cups as he, they think. It's going to lead them for, to the Three of Swords, which is destruction and failure. So here we see why. Because uh, he is looking at the, the Two of Swords reversed, but he's not 
uh, taking that into consideration. He's looking at uh, his inability uh, to uh, see reality as it is and to his inability to make the right decision and makes the wrong decision uh, uh, just as well. Uh, this is a card that shows us reluctance to held, handle things, uh, thinking that things just will happen by themselves. This is about being passive and this is about procrastination and running away from reality. So this is what happens is doing by uh, letting this book come out. He's running away from reality. He's being passive. He's letting others decide for him. He has difficulty uh, to cope with the present and difficulty to cope with reality. And because of that, and because of his need to be seen as this uh, uh, very charitable person, he is going to make a very big mistake. On the other side, what the queen doesn't want to look at is the four of pentacles. Wow, that's two cards that this lead to destruction. Both of these cards, the next card that comes after that is a card of destruction and failure because of this energy. And the four of pentacles, that's the card of be feeling threatened. And because, of, or because you feel threatened, you adhere to what you have. So being unable to uh, cope and being unable to... Um, to, to make a good decision because you feel threatened and you don't see, you, they don't read the map correctly, they don't see the threats cor correctly and they are conducting wrongly because of that. And this also leads to a fi the Five of Pentacles which is another destruction and failure card and this is even a card of poverty. So uh, this is about their fear of a a loss. This is about a, their being cheap and inflexible, a feeling pressured, and he doesn't want to see that. As you can see, uh, the queen is turning her back to that to the four of pentacles uh, reversed. And uh, this is a person who, another card of someone who is procrastinating, also a card of someone who is jealous and uh, unable to move forward, standing in one place. So this card is showing us that they are reacting to a non-existent threat. They are not really threatened, but this is how they feel. And because of that, they are doing all the wrong things. So both of these cards show us that they don't see reality as it is, they cannot cope with reality as it is, and they are prone to make mistakes. And their need to be seen as these very charitable, social responsible people is leading them to make mistakes. And this will lead them to poverty to and to destruction, the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so that's the second card a question. And the third question is, will this book cause uh, King Charles to decide to ban the return of a, of Harry to the UK. I actually, the, the, what I heard, what I, or what I saw was uh, this uh, uh, gossip about King Charles waiting for the book in order to, uh, um, to, to exile uh, the Sussexes. This is what the, the, the real, the, this is what I actually heard, that King Charles is meaning to exile them. Uh, but they still, like, because they are not in the UK, I don't think that he needs to exile them, but uh, this is about not letting them to uh, go back uh, to the UK, just like uh, uh, Edward VIII, was not allowed to go back to the UK. Now, I think that this is a little bit uh, too much. Uh, I don't think that it's something that is possible in uh, this day and age. I don't think that uh, King Charles can exile uh, Prince Harry, uh, not today. But I am going to check this because uh, there was it was a very... Uh, well-respected YouTuber who said that. So let's start with a card from here. 
and a second card from here and a third card from here okay so let's pick up the cards and see what the answer is and the answer is the four of cups in the reverse so first of all the four of cups is a no card and it doesn't really uh, change the fact that it's in the reverse it's still a no card so the answer is no Charles is not going to ban Harry from coming back but what this card shows it shows doubt it shows doubt uh, or even uh, in a way thinking a uh, that something is wrong. This is a card that shows lack of trust and difficulty to trust. It shows suspicion. It shows that there's a lot of gossip going around. And it does show that if Charles does decide to ban Harry from coming back, that would be a bad advice to listen to. So uh, the answer is that he's not looking, he's not going to, uh, or is not uh, thinking about it, at least not now. And that uh, he doesn't mean to do that. He's not looking for excuses to do that. Uh, but it does show that he's very doubtful of uh, Harry's motives. Uh, he's very uh, doubtful of Harry's uh, um, want, uh, need to uh, or wish to be a part of the family. And he is uh, losing faith in Harry, is losing trust in Harry, and uh, he needs to be very careful not to make the wrong mistake, the wrong, the wrong move, or to make a mistake by banning Harry. That would be a mistake. That would be something that is not advisable. But this card shows how uh, lacking of trust uh, Charles is with Harry. And on this side, we get the Knight of Sword. The Knight of Sword, that is the knight that uh, is the spoiled kid. He is someone who is not waiting for others to do uh, the job for him. Uh, despite the fact that he has tendency to get into quarrels and, uh, excuse me, but the Rosie wants to come in. So the spoiled kid is the stubborn knight. This is someone who misses opportunities because of his tendency to uh, let others make decisions for him. So this is another uh, card that is, and as you can see, uh, the, the, the knight is going towards the four, to, the four of cups, and this person here is looking towards the knight. So there is reciprocation between them, and this is a warning card for uh, Charles. So another warning that he should be very uh, careful not to let others make decisions for him, not to let others make uh, make uh, do things for him, to make his own mind and to think about whether or not he wants to uh, to, to do that to ban Harry because uh, uh, when the knight is getting over that problem of being a pass passive he becomes an ace and the ace of sorts is the ace of being able to get your thoughts your plans your ideas realized so if if king charles wants to become the sword of the ace of swords he wants to be able to get all of his plans and strategies and everything that he's thinking about and he thought about it before he became the king if he wants that then he needs to do things by himself he needs to uh, not wait for others to do things for him and not let others uh, persuade him to make the wrong decision. On the other side, what I'm getting is the four of wands in reverse. So that's another four. And this is about going out on this victory quest, but enjoying the road. This is when it is in the upright. And this is actually a yes card, but because it's not the answer here, we don't, uh, we don't look at the yes or no meaning of the card. We're looking at 
the uh, psychological meaning of this card. And what this card is saying is another warning card because when the Four of Wands in, is in the upright, it's, it talks about being able to enjoy what you're doing without thinking about the results, enjoying the road. Uh, and when it is in the reverse, it shows impatience. It shows being not satisfied, uh, even putting on an ultimatum. So Something uh, it shows over self confidence and difficulty to deal with success. So, this is Charles's difficulty of dealing with his new position as king, and this is a new beginning for him, and it's difficult. Uh, and this is another uh, warning card that warns him not to uh, be very not to be uh, impatient, not to. Uh, feel that he needs to uh, um, give uh, Harry ultimatums, not to act out of over self-confidence and to be very, uh, very um, aware of the problems that might come from this kind of uh, ultimatum. So uh, altogether, I don't think that Charles means to do that. I don't think that he and that this is something that he wants to do. But I do believe that some courtiers might come out uh, with a suggestion, a suggestion of this kind, and he needs to be very, very careful from this. Okay, I'm using the Dark Mirror uh, Oracle to see uh, Harry's real feelings about the book. Uh, and let's see, I'll take this card. And what I'm getting here is today for tomorrow. Okay, so this is a card that I'll need to look for. Okay, so what this card speaks about is that hope is in the present. It is the brick we use to build the future on. And the sentence that goes with it is, a, I want it some, I want it later. A, it may seem like a trade-off to sacrifice the present in order to secure a better future. That's what ants do. Or to sacrifice the future to enjoy a better present. A, that's what cicadas do. A, either choice holds a bitter taste. It's like watching a child play. Shouldn't she stay? And if she were studying, wouldn't she regret not playing more? You meet a person you are attracted to. Do you go past and let it stay in the fantasy or you make the move and follow it through? So what this card is about, it's about sacrificing the present for the future or sacrificing the future for the present, but and not looking at the things that might come out from this sacrifice. And if when Harry goes uh, through with that book, he actually, what he does, he sacrifices his present for the future. He thinks that getting that book out is going to help him financially. It's going to help him to look as if he is uh, charitable, as if he is, has social responsibility, but he sacrifices his relationship with his family. He sacrifices is a uh, future in the royal family and so this comes with a lot of sacrifices and what he needs to think about is whether or not he wants to make those sacrifices and whether or not it is worth his while okay so this is it for this reading i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell share the video leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.